and then you injured somebody and that it, you allegedly did not apologize and you allegedly like said it was the other guy's fault uh, when it wasn't was crazy to me. The fact that like you're uh, some saying, boy, we might have to cut some of that out. Fuck. <laughs> what? <laughs> cut what? <laughs> you're supposed to be a guy that is molding young wrestlers and trying to give them a good path to start. Oh. And this is what the fuck you're doing. Yeah. Well, it's crazy him, to me. Me and him don't get along uh, because. Oh, we're going to that. I, I, I sh Everyone thinks I broke my ankle on the military che chest, pressed to the chairs. That is, that is not the case. I. I twisted my shit doing the fucking everyone showing concern and whatever and whatever and then I hear one dumbass in the background go ah he's fine Iron Eagle sat like picked me up went all the way to the back and sat me on a chair what am I trying to do work the boys I don't, I don't know I like to work the crowd I don't like to work the wrestlers what's the point in that like a lot of people think killing a business is all about shit talking and it getting shit off our chest. No. It's not. It's about shooting the shit. So, despite wanted, what you just heard, I wanted to create a new segment where we put someone over. It's called Gotta Push You Over, <laughs> Brother. Ooh, I like that. Gotta Push You Over, Brother. I think he's one of the best in the whole state, and for whatever reason, he was helping me out when I first graduated, when I was sending him practice matches. He would watch it and send me, he would like, and now I'm gonna put over another DTA member and they're gonna think we're marks. <laughs> great, great, great. But he was like one of like one of the first guys that I looked up to that was like going out of his way to like make sure I was cool and like telling me new spots that I could do. I don't know who it is. Easy top go to Forever Young's podcast. Fucking marks. <laughs> I, I can already I can already imagine it. You know who's gonna be up in arms. Alright, who is it? Who is it? No, I don't require you to be nice to me. Well, people aren't nice to either one of us. Yeah, that's true. There's a fucking long-ass list. It's a long list, brother. That proved that you can be one of the best, and you can you don't have to be a shitty person. Both of those, those guys know how to work, too. <laughs> Great workers. <laughs> From two guys that are good to whatever your opinion is on this man, Gio Bronco is a trainer now. Bronco is a trainer and me and you need to be a promoter. That's all I'm going to say. Shitty as fuck wrestling coming yeah. August 2023. We are, you know, we should make him the world champion. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's we, a push. You know what we should do? Yeah. Jason Hodge, Jack yeah. Price, you know, Gio so Bronco's the best <laughs> trainer. When I think trainer of those three, I think Gio Bronco. Yeah, yeah. Truth Martini's also in Michigan. No. The spider. The spider. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's the the spider. Two E's. The For spider, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. Two E's all the time. But... Fucking. What in the world did I see on social media? Y'all two were going at it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nah, man. He, he's just like, I love that, it, like, he's he talks like an NPC character. <laughs> like, he, I just imagine, like, before shows, he's just standing in an idle pose, and, like, you gotta walk up to him and press A to talk to him. <laughs> like, that's, that's how he talks. If, if people, if a bunch of people say I'm a dickhead, right? I would probably think at some point, all right, maybe it's my fault. Like, if it's not, because it's not just us that think this way. Trust me. Oh, brother. There's entire locker rooms of people that feel this way. We're just the ones that put it on camera and put it on social media. So if you want to shoot the messenger, go right ahead. I Ow. think that the Spider is the greatest pro wrestling all-stars champion of all time because he, he takes that title Every, he's better champion than us. Yeah, that's true. He takes that title every single, like everywhere. everywhere. You see a picture with him. He online? took it to the hospital. He with had him. it in the hospital. He bed. had a blood clot. <laughs> that. Oh, uh, I think we had something else to talk about. Uh, Vladimir. Oh. God. We had two incidents, actually. Oh, uh, no. Okay, so let's give the Radomir thing from our point of view. First of all, shouts out to John T. Q because he had full permission to knock 
that fan Wait, out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because LJ got his towel stolen by that dude, too. What? Yeah, and here's why. I'm just hearing this. Here's why, because Jonte, after that happens, I'm assuming this is after, Jonte and this dude are going it. back and forth, like, are heavy. You? Yeah, and Jonte grabs LJ's towel, picks it up, and launches that bitch at him, and then flips the dude off, and the dude bum rushes Jonte. Really? Yeah, and Jonte's backing the fuck up. He's not, like... He's, you know, he's trying to keep it fucking professional. How and have you people not get told me this? <laughs> I thought you saw it. I thought you knew about no. this. Oh. I'm, I am leaning out of the curtain. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Is this supposed to happen? We didn't talk about the award, but we'll get to that. Oh, Rookie of the Year finally came out. Yeah, and to nobody's surprise, Brutus Atwell won. Congratulations to Brutus. I think it was well-deserved. <laughs> what? Am I Why wrong? did you have to say? Because you should have. No. Um. All right, Kanye. Is Kanye the one that got on stage? I'm, I'm just saying you've had went to the most shows. All right. Yeah, and probably the most states. Yeah. I don't know. Probably the most states. Definitely yeah. the most matches. Yeah. Um. And probably had the most main events on his own too. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, but that's all the time we got. We're killing the business. 